going on guys so I just wanted to talk a little bit about today <clears throat> using a hanger to um, grow your dick basically and you know I've I've personally used this exact hanger that you're seeing here it's the uh, the bib hanger and what you're looking at is basically it's a uh, it's sort of like a um, it's like a clamp more or less that you clamp down on your dick <clears throat> and then the S hook here you attach weights to. Um, so I used to actually just put a, uh, you know, I used to I used to put the weights at the end, and I had done uh, hanging pretty extensively for a period of time, and you know, all in all, I found it to be far more risky than I found it to be beneficial, and here's why. Uh, with the hanger, <clears throat> it's you know, it cuts off circulation to your dick, more or less, completely. Your dick is going to go through, and it's going to clamp down on the base of your dick, if you're doing this right. And <clears throat> what happens is, is it's pulling straight down, because obviously the weight is hanging from the S uh, clip, or just the strap. And, you know, it, it does do significant... Uh, damage to your dick in the sense in a good in a good way uh, and kind of in a bad way in the good way it you know it's it's really causing you to stretch out the tendons uh, which are kind of in the, the pubic bone area and then of course you're actually stretching out your dick pretty significantly however um, you know I've had the only thing that I've ever had an injury on was a hanger I've never had an injury beyond blisters with the bath mate. I've never had injuries beyond raw skin with the size genetics. But with the hanger, I've had some pretty scary moments uh, where the thing slipped and it, and it tugged my fucking dickhead. Uh, it actually made me bleed one time out of my dick hole. <clears throat> no bullshit. And that was uh, probably the scariest thing that I've ever had happen with PE was with the hanger. So I really don't use it. And I also don't think that it's as necessary for gains as you guys think. It's not necessarily to me worth the potential risk. Some guys will definitely disagree with me, which is fine. Um, it's a tool and you can absolutely use it. You know, you can use it pretty safely, but the, uh, the margin for error on this is much higher. You know, once you start working up to heavier weights, like they tell you to do, um, you know, I was think I was working with like 20 pounds. Um, you know, the margin for error becomes pretty high. You know, if, if that thing slips or something, um, then, you know, you can have a pretty serious problem. So, yeah, uh, what I would suggest to you guys who are looking to get into this PE thing that if you're looking to gain length the two best things that you could do are manual exercises combined with a size genetics extender the extender is a simple uh, gentle way to do this um, if you're looking for something that's going to you know give you some fast uh, feedback some fast results I'd recommend starting with a bath mate and doing your stretching and your jelking and um, you know get your save up for a size genetics too and you know that'll help you really blow past your your results uh, blow past you know your, your current size pretty quickly and the bath mate is pretty fun the bath mate you know you start using the bath mate and you know after your your first session that you've worked up to uh, to actually keeping your dick in there for like over 10 minutes, let's say, with the semi-erection, you're going to see a, a very fast result. Like your dick will be significantly bigger than it was before, which is really fucking cool. So I would say skip the hanger personally. Um, if you're like dead set on using it, I guess you could go for it. But uh, just giving you my, my honest opinion on this, it's not necessarily worth the risk. So thank you guys for tuning in. Uh, once again, if you're considering ordering a bath mate or a size genetics uh, and you appreciate the content, just click the link down below and order from there. That's an affiliate link and it helps support me making these videos for you guys. So thank you. Talk to you guys soon.